Hey there, this is Dr. Evan Osar with the Institute for Integrative Health and Fitness Education. Welcome to this edition of Facebook Live. And this is session number three, or part three, of a five-part series on training the female core. And in this series, Janice, Sarah, and myself were bringing you the most up-to-date and best strategies for helping your female clients address core issues or issues related to their core. So things like chronic tightness or discomfort and or the inability to perform at the level your female clients need, want, and get back to those things to, that they love to do. So one of the concepts that we shared in the last video was the idea that most of our female clients, the strategy we use with our female clients is to help them create a more optimal, their most optimal and most efficient strategy for using their core muscles and therefore for ultimately for their posture and movement. And we do that by addressing three things and utilizing the principles of the integrative movement system, alignment, breathing, and control. Because when we look at the most optimal and most efficient functioning individuals, so let's just take professional athletes or high functioning athletes, for example, we often attribute it to their performance to, oh, they're just really strong. So therefore we think that the strength is what makes them awesome. But think about this for a moment. The professional athletes and professional dancers and high performing individuals like that, that by nature of being a professional athlete and or dancer, you have to have a base level of strength already. So how much more strength is going to help these individuals? Because we have strong individuals, professional dancers and professional athletes, some of the strongest individuals that also have issues related to a, a non-optimal and inefficient core stabilization strategy. So it's not about strength. It's about helping our female clients develop their most optimal and their most efficient strategy so that way they can fully express her strength, so that she can fully express her mobility, her endurance, and all those attributes that we chalk up to being strong. So one of the strategies, as I mentioned, that we use with all our female clients, whether they are a recreational athlete, uh, an amateur athlete or a professional athlete is to help them develop her most optimal and efficient strategy. And we do that by applying the principles of the integrative movement system and really walking our female client through the integrative movement system process, which is a three phase process that we take all our clients through. First, we take a history so that we identify all the factors that may relate to what our client is experiencing. So if our client comes in, just say, we're working with a client. I'll give you an example. I was working with this Division I track and field athlete. Let's just call her Beth. And Beth came in and she had a history of ankle issues. So one of the first things I was asking her is, how long have you had these ankle issues? And she had had them for years upon years. And she'd seen multiple practitioners, chiropractors and physical therapists and orthopedic surgeons. And she kept injuring her ankle. And they kept trying to strengthen her weak ankle. And then obviously she was doing core exercises. So as we looked at her strategy, as we, we took her through the next process or next piece of the process, is we did a very thorough assessment on her. And one of the things we found is not that she didn't have a strong core, but because again, she's a track and field athlete, she's a division one athlete, she had a plenty of core strength. But how she was utilizing her strength, she was using, utilizing in a non-optimal and inefficient manner. Meaning that she was having to compensate a lot and she was actually shifting her weight too much onto her left side. Hence the reason her center of mass was shifted over to her left side because she wasn't aligning her thoracic pelvic cylinder. And that comes back to those principles of the integrated movement system and why we focus so much on helping our clients align, breathe, and control. Because what we did to help this client, Beth, is we helped her develop a more optimal strategy for aligning her thoracic pelvic cylinder, so her core, her trunk, spine, pelvis, and hip complex, and get her weight back between her two feet, so through her feet where it belong. We taught her how to move from that position, so we start out with some very basic patterns to teach her how to control sagittal plane motion first, and then we developed strength on top of that strategy. And she was able to return to her sport without re reoccurring ankle issues. So, the take home message here is, stop looking to strengthen your client's core help them develop a more optimal and efficient strategy 
and then develop strength on top of that more optimal and efficient strategy. So that way you'll help your client address a lot of these underlying issues that are inhibiting them from ex fully expressing their strength. And that's really the beauty of the integrated movement system is as I said, it's a three phase process where first you identify your client's non-optimal and inefficient habits for posture and movement. And then during the second phase, the corrective exercise strategy, we help our clients develop more optimal and efficient strategy for posture and movement. And then finally in th phase three, we help her integrate her strategy into the fundamental movement patterns that all her clients need to do, that she needs to do to accomplish safely and effectively accomplish her health and fitness goals. And that's how you really develop yourself into that specialist that your clients need, want, and your potential clients will seek out to help them solve their issues related to a non-optimal and inefficient core stabilization strategy. So this is Dr. Evan Oso with the Institute for Integrative Health and Fitness Education, sharing you with our best practice strategies for helping your female clients address their core issues and get back to those things that they need to, want to, and even return to those things that they love to do. If you like this information, check out our Integrative Corrective Exercise Instructor Program. We have a course coming up in about four weeks in Orlando, Florida, where we take you through this entire process. We teach you how to assess your clients so you identify your clients not optimal and inefficient posture and movement habits. And then we help you develop the most effective corrective exercises around the core, shoulder, and hip to help your clients create their most optimal and efficient strategy and create more optimal and efficient habits. And then how to, then we take you into phase three and show you how to integrate these habits and the new strategy into the fundamental movement patterns that your clients need to do to accomplish her health and fitness goals. And that's really the entire process. And it's a very simple process. However, it's a very effective process. And we use it with all our female clients in our office. And that's how we can successfully work with so many individuals that have chronic tightness, discomfort, and or just can't perform at the levels they want. And that's also how we keep our clients that aren't experiencing issues healthy and safe as well. So again, thank you for watching. And if you're looking for more information, check out Integrative Corrective Exercise Instructor coaching program. And then also stay tuned because we're in the process of creating a brand new resource for those of you that work with female clients, especially those clients that struggle with chronic tightness and or discomfort, and those clients that just can't perform at the levels they need to and or want to. We're putting together our resources to create a very special and unique product, especially for those clients that you work with that may have had surgery and or traumas and aren't, don't even recognize, I should say, that their issues are related to some of their non-optimal and inefficient core stabilization strategies. And some of the exercises that they're doing are actually contributing to their issues. So we'll share with you some more information about that resource as the week goes along. Janice and Sarah will be back with more information about how to fully address the core in your female clients so that you become the specialist and expert, your go-to specialist in your area for your female clients that need, want, and will seek you out for your expertise. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. And thank you for Jaliri for being on and Fasco for being on. Thanks so much for watching, giving us this opportunity to bring this information to you so that you also become a specialist for your clients and really develop your expertise. Thanks, thanks so much. Have a great day. We'll see you on, I'll be back on Thursday sharing more information about how to train the most effective training strategies for training the female core. Take care.